if you want to square any number that is near 50, let's take numbers from 40 to 60. 10 above 50 or 10 below 50 and the concept uh, works for other numbers also. So let's take 57. 57 squared means 57 times 57 and 57 is 7 above 50, right? So add that 7 in 25, it becomes 32 and take square of that 7, 49, that's second part of the answer. So 3, 2, 4, 9 is your answer. 57 times 57 is 3, 2, 4, 9. And let's say if, if it is 42, 8 less than 50, it's 8 less. So subtract 8 from 25, it will become 17. And that's first part of the answer. Then take square of 8, that is 64. That's second part of the answer. So 1764 is your answer for 42 times 42. How's that? It's very easy. You can just remember that second part of the answer has two digits in it. So if the answer is one digit in second part, you have to include zero. Let's try 52. 52 is 2 above 50. So we add 2 to 25 to make it 27. That's first part of the answer. And square of 2 is 4. But we'll write 0, 4 because we know we have to cover two digits. So it will be 2704. That will be our answer. So you can now multiply any number by itself or square any number from 40 to 60 easily. And if the numbers are above that a range of 60 or below that range of 40, still you have to just carry one over to the left. Otherwise, the method is same.